What's up everybody, I'm Jay and today we're going to be putting the light and the filter on this very small aquarium that I'm going to be putting inside my office at Fritz Aquatics. So there's going to be a freshwater setup there on Fritz Aquatics YouTube channel and there's going to be a saltwater setup on Fritz Aquatics' YouTube channel and it will be done by me so hopefully the salt water doesn't throw me into the ground too hard and I'm hoping for a little bit of help. So go subscribe to that channel and help me out along the way. But more importantly, we're gonna go over the glass aquarium here. It's an ultra clear glass aquarium that's gonna sit on my desk. We've got a really cheap filter that we just reviewed last video, so you can check it out. I've already done the testing. I've been running that filter for about two months and it's good, it's okay, it's not the best. Uh, the, the review is very sarcastic. I purchased it with my own money, so I'm just trying to give you an honest review. But there is one thing that I really like about it and it is that little pad that sits right before the impeller. That is perfect for me. Um, maybe not in this setting, but in other settings it would have been great and I wouldn't have lost so many filters. But we've got the Fluval Nano that I got. Uh, yeah, Fluval did not send me that. I purchased it and got it from Aquarium Co-op. Um, other than that, that is all you'll see today. We'll talk about the filter, why I set it up the way I did, and what to expect from this aquarium. So thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe, it means a lot. Comment, let me know what you think about this setup and maybe what we can put in here. And as always, thank you so much for your support. Now, let's, let's go over this jazz, come on. Where do we start but right at the beautiful Fluval Planet Nano Tank? I got my handy dandy tool. I can't open this tool. This is ridiculous. But anyways, I've got my knife. I'm going to open the Fluval Nano. This knife was actually given to me by Ben Dunn from Universal Rocks for being in his wedding, so I feel pretty awesome. And um, outside of that, just make sure you have a sharp object so that you can open some of this stuff. Uh, but what happens is we just kind of tear through things and I wanted to go through how I open. So I'm going to go ahead and slice this bad boy open and then we're going to start to rip out some of the internal parts of this box and get this bad boy uh, explained and then set up. So we got the handy dandy nano fluval booklet, which I won't read. <laughs> but. It has everything you need so that you can understand how to set this light up, maybe the application if you don't know, but I'm not using it as you can see. So uh, let me go ahead and try to get this out. <clears throat> okay, that's not gonna work. So let me pull out the uh, charging block and they really <laughs> did a puzzle piece of adding this, but everything is what I would expect based on the other Fluval lights that I had. So the the Fluval 48 inch planet lights. I have three of them. I would expect this to be made of the same material. Um, very minimalist style box. I wish the plastic wasn't on there. Maybe um, maybe just a, a layer of film or something that was just a little bit easier on the environment, I guess. But so this piece right here is going to be your bracing. This is what the metal, um, L bracket is going to fit into and then this is going to fit on the side of the aquarium and then that's it just make sure you have a very thin aquarium <laughs> put it that way and then you have this uh, L bracket um, I don't know what you want to call it but basically it's where the light sits on and then you would adjust it um, it's made of metal it is extremely sturdy as you can see here <laughs> yeah no um, it is metal it, it could be bent but it is very 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 solid which I really appreciate for the amount of money you're gonna spend on this light um, the housing is really hefty it has a lot of uh, density to it so it does feel premium I wish it was a little bit bigger I wish they actually made that LED housing um, slightly larger I think they could have went out uh, much further just based on technology but whatever they were thinking I'm sure they tested it and they know exactly uh, what they're doing and 
The plug is very, very sturdy. And so we've got the light, we've got the bracket, we've got the charger, um, and then we have the metal L bracket and then the wire that's connected to the light that would connect to the AC adapter. And so let's go ahead and put the bracket inside this beautiful plastic. Uh, let me remind you, this plastic piece is pretty thick. Um, it's probably injected, molded. It, it could be broken, but not as easily as what you would expect. And so you would just tighten this up and you can adjust the, the good old arm of the light up and down. But uh, little do you know, I had this in wrong. <laughs> So now you have to switch it around. Um, I guess that's why they give you instructions. But anyways, it was a quick fix. It didn't take very long. And these little plastic um, tighteners, fasteners, I wish they were, I wish they were metal. Um, I don't know if that would change it, but they just feel really cheap. Um, I did have to tighten them with a screwdriver and it could have broke. But look at this, super simple, no locking mechanism. It just boop, pops right in. You can slide it off. I do, however, wish it did lock in so that maybe it could extend a little further. This is something that you can absolutely do yourself. Um, you can purchase it, but there's no flimsiness. I also like that they have your little cord uh, organizer, which is a really, really nice feature. So let's go ahead and set this bad boy up on the aquarium. Fancy. If there's one thing you should know that this does not have a power button. There's no physical button. I wish there was. Uh, that is the biggest downside. However, it's an app I'm familiar with. Um, I use it specifically for my other three at the house and I really like it. You just have to be in, you know, you can't do it from the office to the house. You have to be within Bluetooth range. And so, I mean, overall it's good. I'm going to go ahead and rename it and then we're going to go ahead and test some of the lighting features. So all of this stuff is identical um, in terms of how you can adjust and play with the lights and have the presets. So it's really nice. I'm really excited to kind of see how this light um, does uh, compared to the lights that I have at home. So I have another small nano tank that I don't think I'm going to set up right now. Um, I'm working on the shrimp tank in the house for Liam and then I'm going to bring the other shrimp that I'm getting in here. So I'll decorate this one. Uh, I just wanted to create an atmosphere here and I want to see how it thrives. Same thing I'm doing with Liam's, but you can see the light changes. I can do a lot of different things. So overall, that is really exciting for me because I can have it on a timer, which timers are a lifesaver when it comes to lights. Now let's jump into the filter. So uh, little do you know, this filter actually was on the aquarium for two days and then I decided to go smaller because of the style of fish that I was putting in. And you know, being Cardinia shrimp, I didn't think I needed a lot of flow, maybe a betta, or maybe I'll just do a betta and some neon tetras with them. Uh, either way, this filter I've done the review on, it works. It is pretty much the same plastic as what you would get from an aqua clear. Uh, these little nipples at the bottom, I'm not sure how I feel about them. Uh, they're a little bulky, uh, but I'm going to protect the back of the aquarium with uh, some sort of frosted uh, covering uh, that I got from Current USA and the Serene kit that I had. I had some left over, so I'll use that. But overall, this, this filter is pretty easy to put together. I do like the smoky look to it. Um, I have used this for a couple months, so I do know how it operates under a little bit longer term than what would be two, three, four days. It, it handles well, it is not loud, the adjustments are really cool. So if you need some cheap ones, if you can find it, but it's kind of supply and demand. So if you can't find it, it's probably gonna be expensive. Uh, whereas if you can find somebody that can sell them, um, it, it's not gonna be more expensive than your AC 
110 it'll actually be way cheaper than that but they're not the same filter the ac 110 and this 30 um, aquarium masters is way different it's smaller so now uh let's go ahead and hook this bad boy up real quick onto the aquarium even though it's not there anymore <laughs> All hooked up and ready to go you can see that I've butted up the LED light to the aquarium filter it's got its adjustable flow and it's just too big honestly um, I looked at it and I realized dude you got to get that thing off there it it may work for something that you were doing differently but the length of it is just much bigger than what I wanted so I've got a 10 gallon one on there now if you check out Instagram Facebook or even YouTube uh, community uh, you'll find that it is there so thank you so much for watching it is ready to go it's time to do the substrate the rockscape and all the happy jazz so thank you so much for watching I greatly appreciate it as you know at the end of May my hundred gallon community Tanganyika tank is no more we are driving it and when I say we I mean Ben from Universal Rocks and myself are driving it up to Iowa to somebody that I don't want to say deserves it but they need to be recognized for, for their impact to people around the world, even if nobody has heard their message yet. And so if you haven't, you can check out a video, um, I'll put it up here, and you can watch it. And you can understand where I'm coming from. I'm compelled to do this, um, and I've talked to them, and it's gonna be a really cool video. Um, I wasn't going to film it at first, but then he wants to tell a story, and I think, it's time that not only the community hears a story like this because I'm sure some of you folks are going through something and that's okay we all go through stuff I go through stuff you go through stuff and it's all in how we process it and how we get through it and some of it is very hard and the outcome may not be ideal for what you thought it was gonna be but at the end of the day you just you have to understand your mental capacity, your spiritual capacity, and your emotional capacity. And if you do, then you're gonna turn out okay. But I'm gonna leave you with this message. Uh, it's from a motivational talk, although it wasn't motivational, it was actually given uh, to college students at a commencement speech. And it was from the former SOCOM commander. And he said that as they're training uh, for the Navy SEALs, which is called BUDS, he remembers being at San Clemente and they have to swim and the instructors tell them all of the different sharks that are in the water. But I want you to listen to the inside of this message. And he says, they, they instructed us on all the different types of sharks, what were there, and assured us that nobody had ever been attacked before that they remember but that in the event a shark did charge them or went after them for maybe a late night snack, that you must stand your ground, you must fight, punch the shark in the snout, and the shark will turn around and swim. Well, the idea isn't necessarily that that is gonna be the case because a shark is a wild animal, just like humans can be very savage. Uh, that shark may not dig on that and go after you more, but the, the moral of it is don't back down from the sharks. You're gonna be faced with sharks throughout your life, and the idea is not to run. The idea is to remain steadfast, to remain vigilant, and to remain stoic. Think through it, grow through it, and it may suck in that moment, but a couple days from now, months, years from now, it'll make you a better person for not running, because if we ran from all of our issues, that would be crappy. Thank you so much for watching. You know what's next. <laughs>